everyone welcome to my youtube channel so i'm dr wong today we will learn projectile motion object launch at the angle of zero degree or at a certain angle okay so let us start The projectile motion. Projectile motion is the motion of an object through the air in two dimension under the action of gravity. Okay, so a projectile motion consists of two components. Huh? Number one is x component, meaning that it is moved left or right, okay, to the right or to the left. So the motion with constant velocity turns the horizontal acceleration. So we know that because it is a constant velocity, meaning that uh, ux, no matter at which position, okay, no matter at what, uh, which position, at here, or at the maximum height, or at a certain area, your velocity will always same as the beginning, okay? So therefore, our acceleration ax will always equal to zero because constant velocity. There's no any uh, gravitational force acting on x component. Okay. Next, y component is vertical. Vertical meaning either is moving upward or moving downward. So the motion under the gravitational acceleration. Okay. So we know that. The object is under the gravitational acceleration. So therefore, acceleration for y component is equal to negative 3. Okay, so that's why we always substitute the value negative 9.81. Okay, why negative? Because our gravitational force or acceleration is always adding downward. Okay. So, there are three common cases uh, that will be discussed in this subtopic. Okay. So, the first one is the horizontal launch. Okay. Horizontal launch meaning that the initial object is launched with the zero degree. Okay. Zero degree. So, we only have ux. Okay. Where our Uy will equal to zero because it's only horizontally in move. Okay, we don't have Uy. Okay, we don't have Uy. And then, if let's say we refer to this point, this position, your velocity will still equal to the initial x component, the velocity. Okay, however, your Uy will increase. Okay, so our vx will still equal to ux. However, your v, vy you can calculate lah. Maybe you can use e uh, equation v equals to u minus gt to find. Okay. Next acceleration. As uh, we mentioned just now, because x component, uh, the v is, is always constant. So therefore, ax is always equal to zero. Okay. However, your Ay will always equal to negative 9.81 because the gravitational acceleration is always, always acting downward. So it's negative 9.81. Okay, Sx meaning that the range. Yeah? Some book they will use Xx, some book they will use range R. Okay, so Xx meaning that the displacement for the horizontal component. Okay, Sy is the height. Okay, so this is the height. Okay, so this is the height. Why negative? Because this is the reference point zero zero. Oh, this is the reference point where the object uh, start to falling down. Okay, so the object is moving downward. Okay, from the reference point moving to the ground. So therefore, we put negative indicate that it is below the reference point. Okay, and then this is the t. Okay, so this is the first case. Okay, so this is the first case. Second case is angle launch on a level ground. Okay, so this object is launched at a certain degree of uh, the angle. Okay, and it is launched from the level of ground. Okay, so if this is the magnitude u, we can resolve this one into x component and also y component. 
So x component, it can we can resolve it into ux, and this one we can resolve it into uy. Okay, where this is your uy, this is your ux, this is the magnitude, and this is the angle. So if you want to find ux, we can use a uh, trigo where our uh, u is uh, ux is equal to u cos theta okay or you can actually from here cos theta equals to ux over u so therefore our ux is equals to u cos theta okay similar for uy we can use sine theta so sine theta equals to uy over u u is the uh, the magnitude eh? okay so therefore our uy we can write as the u sine theta Okay, so you can refer here, our ux is u cos theta, uy is u sin theta. Okay, okay, next one is our vx. Okay, our vx, no matter at which point also, our vx will also always equal to ux. Huh? This one you must remember because acceleration for x component is zero, huh? v is constant. Okay, then your vy, okay, vy you can use ui minus gt to find okay ax again ax is because v constant for x component ax will always equal to zero ay will equal to negative 9.81 okay so sx will always equals to okay uxt okay or the range yeah? and sy is equal to zero y because it's from ground this is the reference point zero zero and it moved back to the ground okay so you move up and then you move back okay for y component so that's why your y component the displacement is equal to zero okay okay now let us look at maximum height so when at maximum height your vx will still equal to ux however if you refer to the maximum height your vy will equal to zero because this object will no longer go upward okay it will only go to the right so that's why vy at maximum height will equal to zero however for the displacement sy it will equal to positive h because maximum height from the reference point from this point just now zero zero it moved up until the maximum height okay so this is the height h eh? or you can use sy and this value is equal to zero because ground is the reference point and it's above the ground so we put positive h okay so this is case number two okay case number three is the angle launched from a certain height meaning that from a building or from a certain height okay so the first one is we must resolve it into ux and also uy and this is the angle theta okay so our ux is equal to u cos theta uy is u sin theta again at any point at any point your vx will always equal to ux so our vx will equal to u cos theta and vy we don't know but we can use v equals to u minus uh, gt to find okay again ax is always equal to zero ay is negative 9.81 okay sx is the range and remember your xx will equal to uxt okay or sometimes they will use the range huh? okay okay why we use uxt because our equation still remember s equals to ut plus half a t square okay for x component your ax is equal to zero so our xx will only or always equal to uxt okay so this one fix huh? so remember xx always equals to uxt so we can write here also uxt 
and then s y y negative because this is the reference point zero zero okay if you're going up and then it go down to the ground meaning that from the reference point it already below the reference point so we put negative h because it's below the reference point uh, zero zero okay so it's s y equals to negative h and then our t, I'll let t, you can use the four equations to find. Okay, next, at the maximum height. So, maximum height, this is the maximum height. So, remember, maximum height, we still have vx equals to ux. We still have x components, still have the velocity. However, for y component, there's no velocity because it's no longer can move upward. Okay, so it will only move to the right. So remember, Vy at maximum height will always equal to 0. And Sy equals to positive h. Why positive h? Because this is a reference point. Okay, and if let's say at maximum height, it is above. Uh, it is above the reference point. So we put positive h. Okay, so positive h meaning that it is above the, is above the reference point. Okay, so that's all for today. Uh, we will continue with the next video with the exercise. Thank you class.